Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So, I've been reading the comments in the previous episode and lots and lots of people suggesting taking down the trees over near the silo. We're going to do that. Uh, but first, this plot here. This needs to be cultivated and obviously we didn't manage to get all the grass taken off it up to here. It let me motor here but that is actually out of bounds. Our boundary is here. But if we cultivate this, we can then sample it and we can then put potatoes in. The same is going to apply for the area behind the silo. Um, yes, it would be a very good idea to fell all the trees here on the uh, flat area. Then we can cultivate it and then we can put potatoes in there as well. Or we could ex expand this field. Silage is 86%. Okay, so we're getting there, uh, but we're not quite there. So first things first, cultivator. Uh, we actually do have a blue coat, but there it is. Yeah, we still have a really small one. Because we don't do a great deal of cultivating, but of course next time we get a big plot, we are going to have to use a bigger cultivator. Because, yeah, doing it with these is going to be slow. We had no choice before. Because we just didn't have the power or the money. But now we do. So, yeah, let's lower this down. I do not want to get close to the boundary because it's just going to be annoying. It's going to say every time that we don't own the land with the cultivating and with the drilling or planting as it will be in this case. So we'll go up to about there. And it does want to be fairly square, well rectangular this field because of it being potatoes. And there is some really nice low cost potato equipment, planters and harvesters. So we're going to really make the most of it. Uh, as for productions, potato related productions, I don't know, maybe we will be able to get one. But if not, we can just sell potatoes as a raw product. Ah, I thought we owned a little bit further that way. Apparently not. How annoying. Alright, so we've put the boundary marks in. Is there a stump there? There must be a stump. Yes, I'm stumped. <laughs> and yeah, we're just basically, I, I like to call it colouring in. Oh, crikey. Because, uh, yeah, basically colouring <laughs> this area with the cultivated texture. But yeah, let's just cultivate the area. And then it can be sampled. Maybe, I don't know if it can be sampled prior to cultivating. Probably not. So yeah, we'll cultivate it first. But Chainsaw has just gone off to buy the potato planter. So, yeah, as soon as possible, we'll have potatoes going into here. It's going to be good. I doubt it will remain a potato field, though. I think probably just this first time. Because eventually we're going to buy this plot up here, and it can all be expanded. our lab results for the soil sample. It's very efficient. Uh, so, I don't think it's going to be very shocking. No, it's just a continuation of the sandy loam. So, uh, yeah, as we were pretty much expecting. Y you can sort of predict where this is going to run to. This is probably all sandy loam here. But we can now take off the cultivator. Hmm, okay, the server just crashed. So we've had to restart, just have to do the, the whole field again, uh, but not to worry, as long as it doesn't crash again, I have just saved it though. So let's go and put this cultivator back over here, and hopefully it doesn't crash because of, oh, it's crashed again. So it's every time Chainsaw attaches to that planter, okay, because he, he was doing exactly the same thing before. Right. So, Either a different planter or no potatoes. And we're back. So whilst Chainsaw replaces the new planter, 
<laughs> we might as well roll the field. I don't know what kind of benefit this would have for potatoes, but we do have some stones in here, and it will at least press those in, so I'm sure it will increase the yield a bit. Right, and then lower it down. And there we go. Yeah, it's definitely going to add some kind of yield bonus to the field because we don't have the stones. It's very hard to pull this actually, especially uphill. But it should only take a matter of minutes really. As long as I've done enough for Chainsaw to start, <laughs> ideally he wants to have a bigger planter anyway. The bigger the better. Right, so Chainsaw has changed the planter for another one, and that one seems to be working. Fingers crossed it's going to remain that way. So in the meantime, I was just going to check up on the grass field, see if that needs any fertilizer. I'm not too sure if it's been done. Uh, actually, it's this menu, isn't it? Yep, let's have a look on here. Nitrogen, yes, it hasn't been done. So we do need to spread or spray that. Uh, where is our spreader? Do we still have a spreader? I don't know. Yeah, we, we've got a big red one, haven't we? Where is the big red one? Oh, it's around the back. Okay, we'll just take a shortcut. Yeah, so planting might be a little slow. Oh, and that stump is still there as well. We'll get rid of that, but we'll just do this first. Uh, it's still full of lime, which is unfortunate because that is going to generate many, many bags of lime. Good grief. Well, we'll put those back in again. Chainsaw is requesting seed. Uh, pallet fork. Where's my pallet fork? Uh, cracky. There it is. Okay, and it looks like I put the wrapper in the worst possible place. Come on, <laughs> let's just get this. Oh, I'm always either too far left or too far right. No! Oh, I give up. On the move, refilling. Nice. We, we didn't need the second one anyway. Not yet. So, we can get back on our mission of wanting to fertilize the field. We do have some fertilizer. I mean, it should be enough actually for this field. Of course, it depends if they're full bags, and I don't think they are. Right, so that was two partial bags, one of them was pretty much empty. So in that case, who knows? Who knows if this is going to be enough? We'll soon find out. Hopefully I can see. It's a pretty decent working width. And yeah, it's not consuming it too quickly, so yeah, we should have enough. You can see on the minimap we are changing the colour there as we're applying it. It doesn't require too much uh, nitrogen. Unlike some crops and soybeans, soybeans don't require any nitrogen. So that's a very cheap crop to grow.
Okay, well, we're obviously keeping Chainsaw very replenished. Um, I'm not too sure if he's going to put that on a worker. Maybe on a smaller tractor. Because then we can do the felling of the trees. Because he has done the headland. Yeah. I think it'd be good to do the trees. And I did establish that we can't fertilise the potatoes until we have fully planted them. Like, we can't fertilise the field first uh, with the uh, precision farming installed. So what we need is the grab. Just pop this here. There we go. Very good. And ideally that rear weight. Perfect. Okay, right. Well, we'll go and have a look at those trees near the silo. And it is going to become either a field extension or a new little field for potatoes or another crop, maybe even uh, sugar beet or something like that. Oh, hopefully you can use a worker on that. Is he having issues? I know there's some implements. Very few, but there are some which just will not work with a worker. I don't know why. Hopefully that one is not one of them. Uh, right, okay. So let's just have a look here. Basically, this whole area is ours. And you do have to walk quite a long way before you get to the cliff. So all of this flat area here... This could be field. All this. And it runs the whole length of this field and further. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't need to be trees because we're obviously maximizing land use without purchasing more land. Keeping it as productive as possible. And we get money from these trees. Oh, it'd also be good to have more storage space too because <laughs> I did put the drills here in the previous episode and then destroyed the crop because I couldn't get out. So uh, yeah, that was not great. I should probably keep saving as well, just in case we have another incident. Hopefully we don't, but you just never know. Good. And the blue trailer is our logging trailer. But I'm just going to prepare a few trees first. And, well, Chainsaw might bring it anyway. I think he might actually be attached to it now, so... Yeah, it's all good. These lengths are good too, but there is an optimum length. We want to be sort of six to eight meters. And that little tree. Not much wood in it, poor thing. But we do need it to go. And that one is small enough to actually pick up by hand. Okay, right, well. We'll continue with the felling. Chainsaw is here. We've got our lovely new logging trailer. It's very nice to load. You can load it uh, very full, actually. Like You can get almost £30,000 worth in it if you stack it very well. I'm just wondering how we should do this. Where is the bottom of this one? So it's actually not a bad length, but it does need to be cut about here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've just been crushed by a tree.
is a big one. Oh, right on top of the tractor. <laughs> well, it kind of cleared it. Uh, not to worry. Yeah, these are the best trees. These are so good. Worth so much money. Uh, and do we do them into twos or into threes? Thirds or halves? Uh, I'm going to try half. Yeah, we'll try it in half first. See how we go. It all comes down to how long this bottom section of the trunk is. Oh, that's not very good. Oh no, what am I doing? Yeah, I think actually that is probably quite big. Because I can't see it. Ah. Oh yeah, that's a bit too long. We'll do it into thirds and we'll cut this one about here. It's funny, you actually get more money by having them an optimum length rather than just as long as possible. So it's actually no bad thing that we have to do this. I am putting quite a bit of weight higher up though, so hopefully we don't flip this trailer. Anyway, we'll continue loading the trailer until we have all of these ones cleared here. The ones that I've just cut down. And then we'll see if we can fit any more in. Looks like we probably can. But yeah, we don't want to overload it because it will potentially tip over. And then we'll have a huge cleanup operation on our hands, which is not really what we're looking for. you've just seen, Chainsaw has gone off to the store and we're going to go and have a look as well but there's no point going empty handed we'll take a log with us, nice big one 14,466 plus 1200, wow I'm really hurtling down the hill at speed here, <laughs> this is not too good um, and yeah I was a bit slow actually so Chainsaw's gone over there we're not actually going to see each other but not to worry. Oh, it's like a stabilizer. Although it is the one thing which is going to pull my tractor over. But it's also the, the thing that's going to save us if we do tip over. Oh no, 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 don't lose it. Don't lose it, Dagger went. Right. Well, that could have been done better. But anyway, how much is that worth? Oh, look at that. Over £2,000. Nice. So we now have 57,686. Now we should have a much easier job at loading from both sides, hopefully. So let's go for this again. Let's get another nice full load. Finish on a high. Get lots and lots of money in. Obviously trying to get the heavy ones at the bottom. Uh, if we get the heavy ones to the bottom, then it just makes the whole trailer so much more stable. And loading them like this isn't the best. That is far too long. Oh, I thought I was over that. Okay. Oh no. This has all gone very pear-shaped. Chainsaws is stuck, so <laughs> we're both having issues. Yeah, mine's just... Oh, good grief. Mine's just too long. I shall shorten it.
Well, I think you'll agree we have cleared a decent area today. And thanks to the low cost or in fact free landscaping, uh, I managed to remove all the horrible weeds. So we can now see exactly what we're doing. I believe the potato planter has finished as well. And yeah, I don't know. We, we probably will put potatoes in here. Oh no. <laughs> Just about called it. Uh, we can leave this tractor here. But yeah, that's quite a clearing. Going to make lots of money. Yeah, so the potato planter has finished, as you can see. And that should germinate between this episode and the next one. It's very good. Uh, I'll just put this over here. Put it under cover. Go and watch the wood being sold. Now it would be nice to hit seventy thousand pounds. That shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe seventy-five. Maybe eighty. Eighty is probably pushing. Let's let's aim for seventy-five. Although yeah, that's probably pushing it as well. Hmm. No, let's aim for seventy. Let's be realistic. That's a seriously good load. Come on, 75. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Wow. 76. Crikey. It's a, what a fantastic way to finish. We will, of course, continue with the area next time. But all good things must come to an end. So, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. There is a link down below for Chainsaw's video. Uh, please do remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.